everybody hello hello welcome back to another reaction video today we're reacting to my thoughts on gambling uh the artist went out um now gambling is bad don't do it don't do it it's a game for wasting your money it's a game that steals your money don't do it um so yeah before we hop in, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Leave a like on the video. Turn on post notifications if you don't know if I want to post a new video. Do all this stuff and let's hop in. You should gamble. That's right, I said it. You all should gamble so you learn firsthand how stupid gambling no. is. Here's the sketch <laughs> with gambling, okay? Gambling is only fun if you don't understand math. Humans have been gambling since the dawn of whenever money was invented. I mean, just take okay. one look at the Las Vegas Strip and you will immediately understand how lucrative the gambling industry is. Yo, they built the Statue of Liberty, the Eiffel Vegas. Tower, and Vegas. Caesar's Palace all on the same street. Gambling is everywhere in Las Vegas. As soon as you step off the plane, you're bombarded with slot machines in the airport. Are you kidding me? You can't <laughs> wait to gamble. As soon as you step off the airplane, you just immediately go, I gotta win big. Look, I understand you why people gamble. Money you I gamble. get you it. Have, I play Magic the Gathering, like and opening is up the, a booster good, pack and not getting any expensive cards is the exact same feeling as losing your entire life savings. The first time I gambled, <laughs> I was in Australia for VidCon. After the convention, hey! me and a bunch of mates went to a bar, and I found out that there was a casino attached to it. And I thought, mm. perfect, I'm in a different country, so my parents will never find out that I gambled. Plus, I'm of legal age and independent. <laughs> Let's get our gambling freak on! I was only okay. comfortable asking my friend Moz to borrow some cash, because I feel like if a friend asks, hey, can I borrow some money to gamble with? You're never gonna see that money or that friend ever again. All Moz had oh was a fiver, God. which is Australian for $5. So I only got, got one chip to gamble with. And I decided to spend that one chip on roulette because that's the only game oh, I knew no. how to play. I know how to play blackjack, but I know there's a mathematical algorithm for the best, most perfect way to play. So I don't know how to play blackjack, you know? And poker oh is... Lord too intimidating. I can't deal with people hyperanalyzing my facial expressions to see if I'm bluffing. I already know I'm a bad liar. And the last time I Yo, actually played poker liar, was like with that. Luigi on my DS. Here's Mario. some oh. honest strategy for the oh. game roulette, okay? Sometimes a roulette table will have a TV screen that gives you stats for hot numbers at the table. Like it'll say, Red 23's been popping. It's been hit 14 times today. Oh Ignore my those God. statistics. Every square at a roulette table has an equal chance of hitting regardless of whatever the previous numbers were. Just ignore those stats and always bet odd. So, with just one chip to my name, I was able to turn that single chip into 200 Australian dollary dues. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh, I'm feeling it. Oh. The gambler's high! See, you can either get oh, good luck or I'm not bad sure luck. about and your investments, but like a 4,000% profit luck. is very it's good. Luck. I could have kept going, so but I really bad, wanted to rub my winnings luck, in Maz's face. Luck exists, I cashed out my so, chips, went back to the bar, you know, and then slammed the two hundreds on the table and said something sometimes. cocky Actually, like, how about them cheeky buggers, mate? And Maz was like, did you just win those 200 wibbly wobbly dollary dues? Yeah. And it's yeah. all mine. <laughs> and Maz went, hey, you still owe me 200 Australian dollars for that other thing I did for you. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess I do, do, I do owe you that. Oh. Then he scooped up my two Australian hundos that I was just rubbing in his face. It's an anomaly that my very first casino experience was so Pikachu. positive. It was like the devil himself was tempting me to continue gambling. See? Oh my god. Gambling lets you pay off your debts. <laughs> oh Stop. my god. That, or I'm just really good at Australian roulette. This is probably how people get addicted to gambling, huh? Casinos are designed yes. to make you stay in them for as it, long as possible. There's no clocks or windows, so you can't okay. see how late that. it's getting. Chips are used, so it doesn't feel like you're spending money. And there's supposedly free alcohol, but I guess they run out whenever I show up. 
But even knowing <laughs> all the ways casinos manipulate yeah. you, cigarettes in there, it's kind of fun just being inside a you casino. All the lights, the old ladies at the slot we machines won't. smoking away their already decaying lungs, the people crying in the bathroom because yes. they have a gambling addiction. It's great. <laughs> Buddy, don't worry, you're gonna win next time. I'm sure of it. To counter the life-ending stressors though, people will give the advice, if you're gonna gamble, have a set budget and just assume you're gonna lose it all. But I couldn't even do that. Not the sticking to a budget part. I couldn't bring myself to gamble away my allotted budget. When I went to Vegas, I told myself I was only going to gamble $300. But after I lost 200, I thought to myself, yeah, I don't think this is a good investment anymore. That's a One lot. time I was on a slot machine and I got the five buffaloes in a row or whatever, and I got the mm. chance to win a jackpot. There was a mini game on the slot machine where I had to flip over tiles that had either bronze, silver, or golden apples. And if I flipped over three golden apples, I'd win the golden jackpot. And if I flipped over three silver apples, I'd get the silver jackpot, and bronze apples gave the bronze jackpot, which was the lowest jackpot. The gold jackpot was $5,000. So I flip over the first tile and it's a golden uh -huh. apple. And I think, Ooh. Whoa. Then I flip over another tile and it's another golden apple. And that's hey. when I got the feeling. Oh my God. <laughs> I might actually win $5,000. Then I flip over three bronze apples in a row, winning the oh. lowest jackpot. I don't even remember how much it was because I spent it all on the very same slot machine and I immediately knew what happened. The game was dangling that golden jackpot right in front of my face, making me think I was one golden apple away from making it big, even making me pick which tile to flip over so it would make me feel it's more in scam. control. No, no, when no, the whole no, time it. the computer no, could it. just change what was on the tile that I flip over because it's a computer, it can cheat, it's Schrodinger's jackpot. And before you think I just got really bad luck, that very day I was walking through the casino and I saw a guy playing on the same slot machine and he got to the same jackpot mini game. And I stopped to watch him and the exact same thing happened. He flipped over two golden apples and then three uh, bronze ones. I don't know what the statistics uh, are of that happening twice, but it's mighty coincidental. Why are we still gambling if the majority of people who gamble lose all their money? Because it's fun. It's a stupid way to spend your it's money. Not absolutely. Fun. Look at your college but the funds. rush, man. Nothing in there. In Australia, you can't there go to college now. Times where I could have lost all my money, and statistically, I should have. But whenever an odd number was hit, I couldn't help but throw my hands in the air and celebrate. I was hugging the dealer over winning twenty dollars. However, no matter how many times you win the jackpot, if you spend enough time in a casino, you will always lose. Ever hear the phrase "the house always wins"? That's because they have the mathematical advantage and computers who cheat. Gambling is not an investment. It's not a way to pay off your debts. It is entertainment. If done responsibly and in a social setting, gambling is absolutely fine to indulge in. And if you get upset that you lost all your money, what did you think was gonna happen? So for this end card, I have decided to gamble away a hundred real dollars. So let's hope that we come up Odd, baby. What? Here we go, Floop. Are you ready? Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, be sure. Uh, thank you so much for watching. He's this video. gambling. Oh, oh, I won! I won! Ah! Gambling is great, everyone. Be sure to gamble away all of your life savings. Nothing oh, bad ever done. comes from gambling. Thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, wear your. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if he actually spent money. I don't know what he did. But the fact is. He was recording it and he won. I don't know if he actually won money. I don't know. I think it was, I, he said joke, but I don't know if it was actually a joke. Like, I don't know if what he was saying was he meant was a joke or what he was playing was a joke. I don't know what's going on. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, let's talk. Gambling is a waste of time, waste of money, waste of life. Okay? Go in there, you automatically get lung cancer because, you know, you smell them cigarettes. People are smoking left to right. Um, you smell the alcohol, you know, people are always drinking it in there, mainly beer. Um, what else? People are spending money, people are going broke. All this stuff is happening because of casinos. And you know how much money they're making off of this? It's crazy. Like, I don't ever, I don't ever, I'm never going to a casino, okay? It doesn't matter how old, like, when I hit that 21 plus age, 
Some people are like, oh, I'm gonna go to a casino when I grow up. Oh, I can't wait. No, you don't. No. No. Please, no. No. It is not worth the time, the money, the... Just, it's not worth the time and the money, okay? It's, it's really not, okay? It's, it's a waste. It's everything there's a waste. Unless you win a jackpot, then that's when I leave. Like, if I ever hit a jackpot, if I do go some one time, if I ever hit a jackpot, I'm out real quick. That's when I leave. I don't just keep going. I leave, okay? If I win money, I'm leaving. Even if I win a dollar, I'm leaving. Because at least I won something and didn't spend money. Okay, at least, a, at least a dollar. A dollar will help me. A little bit. Just a little bit. With something. I don't know what, but something. Something with 99 cents. That'll help me. Okay? Go to 99 cents store. Shop there. Get some water, probably. I don't know. I want that water. Get some our brand food. Okay? Like, I, I just... Oh, I, told, I agree with him. I really do. I, like, everything he said, I agree with. For sure. Um, that is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you um, subscribe to my second channel where I stream because um, I'm, I'm going to be trying to do live streams daily if I'm not recording reactions. Which I'm trying to record um, like three reactions in a day so I can schedule them and then start streaming. Um, but that's all for today's video. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like on the video. Tell the post notifications to go if I want to post a new video. And if you are new to the Black Tie community, welcome, welcome to the Black Tie community. I hope you enjoy your stay at the Black Tie Hotel. Thank you for joining the community. And if you haven't yet, make sure you check out all my social medias in the uh, link in the description. You can check out my Instagram, my Twitter, uh, my Snapchat, my public Snapchat, um, and my merch. Go ahead and cut that merch too, okay? Because that merch is fire, okay? I got phone cases, mugs, hat. Or, no, I don't have a hat. Mugs, um, phone cases, shirts, sweater. I got, I, I got all of it, okay? Um, but I will try to make hats soon. I'll, I'll work on that. I don't know when i can't give a specific date but i'll work on it i'll announce it when i do okay but i'll see you later with another reaction video and bye